Well, good morning, good morning, and good morning. Happy uh, Friday. Happy Friday, my brothers, and happy Friday, my sisters. Um, um, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and truly be glad in it. And I'm grateful and I'm thankful um, that I, I'm alive and I'm in the land of living, and I'm grateful. And um, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of God. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for so many things. And um, I just want to come on today and just greet you briefly. Just I, what I want to do, what I want to do, I want to encourage someone. I want to encourage someone who's uh, going through a some tough times. And you're going through some tough times. And in the time that you're going through, you can't see the end. You can't see the end as being positive. You can't. Uh, and, and you're in a relationship or in, in something that you're, you're believing God, that God revealed or that God awakens, that God uh, open up, give you understanding on. It's like you're at a dead end. It's almost like writer's block. We get to a point where you can't, you can't think no more. You can't, you can't see no more. You at a, you at a crossroads. And I will say that the way to change a, a a result. See, some of you, it's like there's a certain test that you're in. It's almost like the result is always ends up the same. Always end up the same. And um, you want to break the pattern. You want to break the pattern. And the, honestly, the way to break the pattern is to do something different. If you're getting the same old answer, if you are getting the same old response, that simply means that do something different. Create a different habit. Create a different pattern. Plant a different seed. And oftentimes in my life, when it seems like I was at a dead end, where it seems like the response, the harvest that was coming back to me was always the same, always negative, always bad, always painful. One of the things that I did, and listen to me, hear me, I just basically changed my approach. I changed the way I think. I changed um, the way I handled it. So I, I changed the way I, 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 I thought. I changed the way my attitude. My attitude changed. My attitude changed. My attitude changed in that situation. And so my attitude went from being negative to being positive. And so basically what I did when it's like when I was reaping a bad harvest or if it seems like it was something that was painful from the seeds that I planted and the season that I planted those, those that harvest in, all I did was I plant new seeds. And where at one time I was planting discouragement, I was planting um, hurt, I was planting bitterness, and I and I killed all of that, and I began to plant the total opposite. I began to plant patience. I began to plant love. I began to plant joy. I began to plant uh, temperance. And so, when you when you go when you are planting new seeds, uh, oftentimes it's, it's going to be opposition. It's not going to feel good. It's a sacrifice. But anytime, honestly, anytime you want any kind of change, any kind of change that you want is going to take a sacrifice. It's going to take a check. It's going to take a sacrifice. In, 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 see, in, order, in, order, in order for God to redeem man back, he had to give a sacrifice. He gave his only begotten son, Jesus, to ransom us, to come as, and to come in the likeness of, of a man, in the form of a man, the likeness of flesh, to take and to face sin, to, to face death, the grave, and the hell, take all the thoughts away from it, take the keys, and, uh, and, and lead captivity captive. And so Jesus was the final sacrifice of our atonement. He had to give up something. He had to die. He had to suffer. He had to be ridiculed. He had to go through all of that to redeem us back. And for your situation to be redeemed, the, 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 the situation that you're in, some of you, you're in a bad situation. But in order to turn the tide 
And to change that situation, it's going to take a sacrifice. It's going to take you giving your heart, you giving things that hurt. That's what it comes down to. You got to give something that hurts. That it hurts. Love is a sacrifice. Love is long-suffering. Love is forbearing. And so it's going to take a sacrifice. That's what it's going to take. A sacrifice. That's what one of the things that God always accepts. A sacrifice. A broken spirit. A contrite heart. He will not despise a sacrifice. That's what he's after. Your sacrifice in order for stuff to change. You got to change. Something in you got to change. Your conversation got to change. Your heart got to change. Your love got to change. Your approach has to change. I hope, I hope this word has helped someone. It's your sacrifice. You want things to change. You want a healing. You want deliverance. It's going to take a sacrifice. It's going to take you giving some. Jesus said, if any man come after me, he must deny his flesh. That's like a sacrifice. That's a sacrifice. When you give up something that's painful, that's going to come a pain. That's going to come discomfort. But at the end of the discomfort and at the end of the pain, there lies the blessing. Your blessing is waiting on you. Hear me. Your blessing, there's a blessing. There's a tailor-made blessing waiting on you. But it's going to require you and it's going to require your sacrifice. Give him, give God. Give that moment, give that situation. Your sacrifice. Is that all right? Let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, I thank you. Bless you, magnify you. God, for this is truly the day that you've made. And God, you have to sacrifice. You said that when we come into the to, to, to the magistrates, we should, when we offer up a gift, and if we remember that we have all against our brother, lay that gift at the altar and go be reconciled first. And after I'm reconciled, then come lay that gift back. And so God, you, 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 you're requiring us to examine our heart. You examine our heart, whether we be in the faith, examine our heart. If we've offended anyone, God, we ask that you create in us a clean heart and renew within us a right spirit. God, we ask that you give us awareness, give us consciousness and realize in situations where we've been weak and where we've been tricked, give us the consciousness, the awareness to realize and understand what's taking place that, at that trigger moment at that trigger episode where we always usually respond to it. God, teach us how to recognize it and not respond to it. God, give us the understanding. God, give us the strength. God, give us the wisdom. In this situation, God, some that are, are praying and listening to me, they need wisdom. Give them the wisdom. You said the wisdom is the principal thing. God, give them the wisdom. Unfold that wisdom. Unfold that understanding. In Jesus' name, God. God bless everyone that's listening to me right now. Touch every heart. Lift up every bow down heart. Move in every situation that listen to me right now, God. Those that are confused, God, give them an answer. Give them clarity. Those that lost their way, God, give them, become their compass. Become their feet and guide them. Lead them. You said the, the righteous man will fall seven times, God, but you'll pick them back up. Pick them back up right now. In Jesus' name, God, restore. God, do a new thing in that situation right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. God bless you. Is that all right?